very well. So today I thought to do a slightly different video for you guys, which is a get on ready with me video. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ola Chivoke. I do hope you would consider subscribing and becoming part of my family here on YouTube. So I thought to do a different video today, which is a get on ready with me video. I think it's absolutely detrimental to the skin to keep makeup on as you sleep overnight. So every single night I take off my makeup and I also have a bath or a shower. Now I've been wearing this makeup, I've had my makeup on for about, I'd like to say nine to 10 hours. It is now 9.30 at night and I've had my makeup on since 11 a.m. So yes, about 10, 10 and a half hours. And yet this is it untouched and um, about to be taken off so i'll walk you guys through a step-by-step -step in terms of everything i use to take off my makeup cleanse my skin and get ready for bed but i usually have a shower after i've taken off my makeup and i cleanse my skin so let's get straight into it the first thing i like to do is i like to use a wipe to take off my makeup before i start with any sort of exfoliation or cleansing. Now this is the Cucumber Facial Wipes from Boots. I absolutely love this product. It is so gentle and it really takes off every single bit of makeup from your skin. I usually use an average of two to three wipes per session um, or more, depending on whether I have sort of, you know, heavy makeup on, which is very unusual for me. But if I had that, I would use maybe three or four wipes absolutely love this i have tried other wipes in the past and i have number one broken out because of that it causes really harsh breakouts on my skin but also i find that when i use other wipes my skin burns quite a bit and it's quite painful so it starts to irritate my skin but with this i never ever had that problem i accidentally bought a wipe um or some wipes thinking that it was the same thing as this because it was the same color i soon learned my lesson but this is absolutely amazing guys I absolutely highly recommend this I highly recommend this highly recommend this it's great so after I've taken off my makeup with some wipes the next step is to use a facial scrub which is the St. Ives or St. Eve's however you choose to pronounce it it's the blemish control apricot scrub and this you can get from any drugstore I love this I've been using it for years. It really deeply cleanses my pores and takes out any sort of residues in terms of makeup or, you know, dead skin or whatever. I use this usually three times a week and I highly recommend it. By the way, guys, this video is not sponsored. Everything I have talked about here or I will talk about, I purchased with my own money. So it's not sponsored at all. I'm just sharing with you the things that I've used over the years that have really, really worked for my skin and have been very good to my skin. So I really hope this is helpful. This is number two, step two, facial scrub. So once my skin is deeply cleansed with the scrub, I go in with my facial wash, which is the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skin Care Tea Tree Facial Wash. Um, this is really good. I've been using this for about four or five years now, and I don't use anything else to cleanse my skin or my face. This is quite mild on the skin. Although it's tea tree oil, you don't have that burning sensation as you would get from some other facial uh, washes. So this I absolutely love. It's very gentle, it's extremely cleansing. It purifies your skin. And I actually find that my skin is suppler. It's more supple after using this. So I really, really love it. And yep, highly recommend. Once I have cleansed my face, I would get into the shower, or a bath, um, have a bath or a shower. When I'm done, I've moisturized my skin to make sure that it's basically, I'm having a lot of moisture sinking in overnight as I sleep. But what I apply on my face is this, which is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. And I believe it has hyaluronic acid, which I completely, completely have fallen in love with. Now this is very mild, but I've had people ask me about my skin texture and ask me what I use. 
Firstly, I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot, a lot of water. But secondly, this is what I use. I don't really use toners because I find that they don't really do much for my skin. I tried various toners over the years and it's just not for me. So I like to stick with a very simple but a very effective routine. So this works wonders for me. You can get this from Boots. Um, it's a little bit on the slightly higher end of the high street in terms of pricing. So this tube is 50 milliliters and it is, um, I'd like to say 37 pounds or 35 pounds thereabouts. So it's not so bad. I believe in the philosophy that if something works for you, it's worth your money. As opposed to buying, you know, random bits and pieces that might be cheaper, but don't work for your skin. So this works for my skin and I'm completely happy with it. By the way, guys, this video is not sponsored, as I said. Um, everything in this video I have purchased with my own money. I just thought to share with you what's worked for me over the years. So, yeah, this highly recommend. So guys, I'm gonna get into the routine now and just show you what I do. I'll probably put this video on a two times speed just to make sure everything uh, is sped up. And, oh, by the way, my skin tone is, or rather my skin texture is sort of combination. So sometimes I get oily on my T-zone and other times my skin's very good to me. So it really depends. But all these products I would say work extremely well for combination skin. Ah, I got two things today I wanted to show you very quickly. I haven't tried them out yet, so I'm not uh, recommending them or I'm not sort of doing a review on them, but I just wanted to show you because I was really excited about my purchase. The first thing is a, um, this is a herbal soap. It's kind of like a, a black soap um, concentration, if I can put it that way. It comes in this tub, this is 250 ml, and this is around 12 pounds or 13 pounds thereabout. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Ugh. Doesn't look so great. Ugh, smells even worse, but I look forward to using this because this is meant to sort of be a deep, deep, deep cleanser for your skin. So it's got a little bit of um, sort of graininess to it, which I intend to use as a, a nice body scrub, although it's a soap in itself. So it's like a black soap, if you will. So that's the first thing I got. The second product I purchased today was um, this, which is the actual body scrub. Now this smells a lot nicer. Yeah, it smells a lot nicer and this is what it looks like. But I do have to say, and it's um, solid as you can see, the other one's slightly liquid. I do have to say the reason the other one smells so awful is because it's herbal. So there are no sort of um, chemicals in it. It's all very natural. And this is as well, but this has been given a very nice flavoring to it. So yeah. All right, my darlings, I'm gonna get straight into it. I do hope you like this video. Definitely comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. By the way, guys, you can see that my face is discolored because I've got hyperpigmentation. My face is a lot darker than the rest of my body, but I'm working to get a more even skin tone and hence the reason I use these products. <laughs> 